Welcome back to Hood Billy Garage. We are finally ready to start on the F100. And we are going to start by replacing the master cylinder and all the rubber brake lines to get this thing rocking and rolling down the road because it is going to be my new shop truck. Now back when I bought the truck, I did replace the master cylinder, but the one I put on there is kind of junk. So we're gonna put a new one on and I've already replaced all the metal brake lines, but we have not replaced any of the rubber brake lines. And I'm sure that many of you know, but for those who don't know, a rubber brake line can actually deteriorate on the inside and cause one of your tires to lock up while driving. And this is from 1977, so I can guarantee that those things have never been replaced. And I will be using a new master cylinder from Dorman Products. And let me show you guys what it looks like before we get this thing on. And it's got a new rod. All right, let's start taking this old one off. This side's out. Not that size. This side's out. Not that size. This size's out. Not that size. Okay, that size. Oh, and I haven't told you guys yet, but uh, I'm actually getting a Phytech EFI system for the F100. So we're gonna have to do a four barrel intake swap on it, and then we're gonna put the new Phytech system on. And then we're gonna drive this thing all around, and I'm gonna get an AC system for it. Ah, get this junk out of there. And one thing I forgot to tell you guys about this is it's been sitting at my grandmother's house for about two years since we've got this thing. And I'm going to see how far I can build it before she notices I'm building it here. Because I think she wants me to take it home. But the goal is to drive it out of here and her not even notice. I think it's a great idea. Alright, let's check out this Dorman Master Cylinder. This thing's beautiful. It's pretty nice. Got a little engraving right there too. She's ready for fluid. And before you put this thing back together, if you're doing an F100, you gotta put the new rod in. There's this little ring and you gotta get it to come in a little bit and then push the rod in so it locks in place. So I always just use a little flathead, like that. And then give it a good yank, make sure it's not coming out. Get your little piece right here, cover it. There you go. Like that. We're gonna attach the brake pedal back up and then we're gonna bench bleed it while it's connected to the firewall so that that way we don't get brake fluid all over ourselves. Think smarter, not harder. The real question is, I don't know if I'm keeping this bench seat or not. The new master cylinder is in, we got a bench bled. This is gonna be a one or two part video because tomorrow I need to come back and replace the front brakes and all the other hardware that needs replaced before this thing can hit the road and it can be semi-reliable. Cause this is gonna be my new shop truck. I'm gonna put AC on it, EFI system, all that. We're gonna replace the bed and we're actually gonna take it to like Jags, we're gonna take it to O'Reilly's and everywhere else, go pick up parts somewhere in Ohio. I wanna drive this around, so we need to get a lot of the little hardware changed. So this is gonna be a one of two part video and that's gonna wrap it up for this video. So stay tuned, this thing is going to have a lot of progress coming really fast. So thank you guys for watching and be sure to check out Dorman products if you want a massive cylinder just like this one.